unless you're on an opposing team and give you the stink eye. But <laughs> you get the stink the eye if you're team red. Yeah. Some of the stuff that we were getting done in there um, I did not get all of it finished I have the majority of it done so that's really good but today I'm gonna work on regular housework try to get some dishes done get some laundry done I want to mop some floors and then hopefully tomorrow I'll get back to the switching out of her bedroom which will be really nice moving the stuff out of the room that's gonna be hers we've got to get her doors the pocket doors slid together and closed for so it creates like a wall but yeah that's what we're working on today and now we're headed into town and it's super cloudy yeah killing my sinuses <laughs> yeah it is really cloudy today looks like it's gonna storm really bad but I don't know Alright guys, so Matt was just talking to me and it looks like we may end up having to drive my father-in-law's truck again. Um, remember our new car had broke down right the day that we got it and we got that fixed. But we've known that the axles needed to be fixed and now there's like, I don't know. Well you tell him about it because he's a, always driving. Almost sounds like a heat shield but I'm not sure if it is. But when you just go to an idle, you get a little clicking while you're on it rattly click but as soon as you accelerate push the accelerator it goes away so it's not the motor or anything like that but it kind of sounds like it's from the middle of the car yeah and it just keeps getting louder so he's thinking maybe it just needs to go in a little sooner than we were expecting and you know we talked about it you know we decided not to go with new cars because you know we're trying to work on this budgeting and work on just getting our we want to concentrate on for one the remodeling of our home and stuff like that and but that's part of buying a used car you know you're gonna have things that you have to fix on it but I think all in all we've been pretty pretty pleased with the car oh, yeah but we knew that there were some things we were gonna f have to fix on it when we got it we were kind of hoping to wait like maybe another month to fix them but it sounds like maybe it just needs to go in sooner than yeah, what we were put expecting. a lot of miles on a car like we yeah. Things will happen. I mean, we've had it uh, a week and a half and put probably 1,300 miles on it. So. Yeah. So, you know, it's just one of those things. All right, guys, you probably won't be able to hear it. I've been trying to catch the sound, but we think we figured out exactly what it is. It's not, it's not like something additional. It sounds like it really is that axle. It sounds like it's coming. I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway, if you could hear that clicking in the background, and I don't know because I can't see what I'm filming right now, but uh, <laughs> Matt, Matt, I'm not even going to discuss what just happened here. It's just not going to happen, but um, yeah. <laughs> T, how are you doing back there? She's dying right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway. Um, we think it is that axle because it sounds like it's coming from that right tire. Yes, please crack your window. <laughs> All right, guys, so you should be able to hear it now. That's the noise we're talking about. All right, so Matt thinks he figured out. We thought it was just that axle, but it sounds like it actually might be the catalytic converter. So we are self diagnosing. Yeah, he's self diagnosing. But, uh, we know it's not an engine issue because it doesn't happen when you accelerate and stuff. Um, it actually happens more when you're at an idle. 
Um, but yeah, we're headed to our mechanic right now to see what he says. So, sounds like it's gonna be a second issue just besides the axle, but once that's fixed, it'll be all right. I mean, the car, all in all, runs relatively well, so besides these couple of minor things that need fixed, so we'll see. Let you know. Hey, so we came to visit Matt's mom, and of course, cousin Melissa is here because she stays here. And this is how we find her. Yeah, this is this is what I walk in on. Apparently, this is ironing board yoga. I told her, watch out, don't break grandma's TV though. <laughs> She's making me nervous. <laughs> Oh yes, and then her air guitar. Mm -hmm. Say hi, everybody. She's like, I'm not speaking to people right now. I'm busy doing what? <laughs> yeah, come on. I want to see you catch the Pokemon. So you know, everybody, this. What is she doing? This Pokemon Go phrase or er, phase is like really huge right now, and Melissa is one of those. Pokey people, that's what I'm calling her, a pokey person. Is this your Squirtle shell? I really have a hard time with the word Squirtle. It reminds me of something perverted, but. Are you going to catch Pokemon? Yes, I'm She's going, she's going to catch Pokemon. I'm gonna capture this, guys. One of these pokey people catching Pokemon. So what kind of Pokemon are we after here? Uh, we will find out. So right here is a drowsy, which is common in this area. If I can actually get this to work, that would be great. So this is the catching of Pokemon in Dubuque, Iowa, guys. And apparently we don't get it now. There's no Pokemon now? No. There's a lost Pokemon, you guys. I don't know anything about this because I've never played it. <laughs> run, Pokemon, run! <laughs> <laughs> She's off to catch Pokemon. Have you found any yet? I have found quite a few um, when the servers are nice to me. So it being a free game, they, I don't think they anticipated this much, uh, you know, hype or frequency of people playing or something. I, I don't know, but um, yeah, it doesn't always work. So that's kind of the downside. <laughs> this um, is Melissa's review on Pokemon Go. But I will show you. Mr. Burns, he just got kicked out of a gym, but uh, he was tearing it up there for a while. That's her guy right there. That's yes. her Mr. Burns. Yes. She was at the top of this leaderboard, right? Is that what it is, uh, leaderboard? Well, it, there's a gym right down the street there, and there's a couple of guys that are seriously ticking me off right now. <laughs> but um, She's going to go beat the other Pokey people up. Yeah. Are you going to steal their Pokemon? Pokemon yep. men? I, well, you actually can't steal them, but uh, yeah, like these guys right now. So who is who are these guys? So this I don't know. Is They're a bunch of jerks. Laughable, and who's the other person? Pidgeot. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a red team, and blue team is totally the way to go. So don't let anyone lie to you. Say that they're not good. <laughs> I want I want to see you catch a Pokemon. I'm okay. really really disappointed here. I want to catch Pokemon. Okay. Well, I'm not going to catch it. She is, because I don't so, have any Pokemon. But. There is a nearby Pidgey, but I would have to go find it. Okay. <laughs> so once I find it, I can let you know. All right. And then I'll show you. So we're not catching a Pokemon right now, but apparently no. there was this elusive Pokemon somewhere in the there backyard. Was a drowsy, but I he just decided to leave. He didn't like me very much, so. So now you can light some incense to to attract Pokemon though, correct? This correct. is what Braxton's been telling yes, me. Yes, um, they last for about 30 minutes. It increases the frequency, kind of lures them in. Um, not to be considered or confused with uh, actual lure, which can be used at certain spots in the game. So. And so well, now I've heard something about blue triangles. What are these blue triangles? Now you've lost me. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know. Somebody was saying, what are all these blue triangles on my Facebook? And I don't know. I have no idea. That's a mystery to me. So I have another friend on my Facebook and uh, he was talking about Pokemon and he was very excited about this whole game because he said that it's letting people from all walks of life and just different backgrounds like all band together to catch these Pokemon. What do you think about this? Yes. Yeah, you think <laughs> so too? Um, yeah, it, you get out more, you see people uh, 
more frequently than you would like. Okay, for example, I would walk around at night, which is kind of not a typical thing for people, especially around here. Um, now, if you go walking around and, you know, you've got your phone out, you're like, hey, you're playing the Pokemon, man, you know, so. This kinda, is like, you all band together and kinda, yeah, talk about your Pokemon. Kinda, yeah, um, unless you're on an opposing team and give you the stink eye. But <laughs> you get the stink the eye stink if your eye. team red. Yeah. <laughs> um, not usually, though. People are pretty good, even if you're, like, on a different team or something, so. So this is really cute. Okay, so we're in my father-in-law's truck because our vehicle is going to go to the shop, find out what's wrong with it. We don't know yet, so we'll let you know in the next day or two what's going on. But uh, T and I were talking, and we're going to stop in and get a pop, and Matt's like, you still have that $5 on you, right? And I'm like, I don't know, I think so. And she's like, I have a dollar. And Matt's like, where'd you get a dollar from? And she's like, it's still my dollar from eating the lightning bug. She's still got her lightning bug eating money. Let yeah, me see. Yeah, I spent one of them on a Jolly Rancher. Oh, that's right. You did get two dollars from it. Yeah, I got two. I, I t if I told them if I ate a big one, I'd, I should get two dollars. And you even chewed it and swallowed I it. Did, so. so if you guys remember seeing that episode, it was pretty gross. She looked oh, like she was going to throw up. It but. tasted, you know how like dusty cardboard smells? Yeah. That's how it tasted. <laughs> So yeah, T's still got a dollar left out of that money, and I don't blame her for buying uh, Jolly Ranchers with the other dollar, because I'd want to eat something besides a lightning bug after that. Eat, I got to eat like one of them, because I stole them from the little kids. <laughs> oh, that's right. She did share them. All right, guys. So we're finally back home, and I'm in the writing room, as you can see. I'm getting ready to put out today's vlog. And then I've got my hair up because I am going to hit today's housework. So, ooh, housework, dishes first. I hate doing dishes. I do, I really hate it. But anyway, I'm gonna get to this and then hit that housework. Aspen, what are you trying to say? You wanna what? I have no idea what he's trying to tell me, you guys. What is on your face? I wanna... I wanna... I cannot figure out what he's trying to tell me, but he's very insistent about it, you guys. And I just, I don't know what it is. He just keeps saying it over and over and I can't figure it out. I've tried following him and figuring out what he wants and he's getting mad because I'm not understanding him, but I don't know. What do you want? I want to walk. You want to walk? I want to walk. You want to walk? No, I want to walk. You want to rock? No, I want to walk. I want to walk. I don't know. I don't know what he wants. I don't even know if I'm going to figure it out. So T figured out what it is he wants. We had to dig under a chair. What is it? Okay, guys. So it was this little piece to this Avenger set. And he was so insistent. But I don't know what he's actually trying to call it. All right. That wasn't it because he is still freaking out. Like we pulled the chair up and dug this thing out. And I, I have no idea what he wants. No, don't hit the button. I, you did turn it on. Oh my goodness. I don't know. He's so too, you guys. All right, guys. So we're ending our night with a new friend. And you might be a little hard to see because he blends into the chair. But this is Duke. And he has come to join our family. I think we found the right puppy for our family. I love him. What, Braxton? I love him. Yeah, he does. And he's yeah, really good with all the kids. Can. He doesn't nip. Which is good, and Zane is not afraid of him, which is a plus. So I think we found our forever pup. All right, guys, so we are ending our night. We'll see you tomorrow. We're watching Little Impractical Jokers, and oh my God! <laughs> what the heck did he just do? What was that? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna watch some Impractical Jokers, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.